here's when the fun really starts because we go we get to speak about all these players that we think played played well. I can't wait for his left side had, had, had a had a great tournament. So let's crack into it. Well, I, I gave I gave you guys I sent my team team to you. You did, you did, and yeah. I scribbled mine down on the train home. So but we'll, 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 we'll kind of go through <laughs> and and vote each other out here. Ha, have a good argument and. Yeah, this if is... it goes to two against one, and that's what we're going <laughs> for. So, okay, um, start with the goalkeepers, then, shall yeah. I'm going with Jordan Pickford. Uh, not Ever, Everton fan. <laughs> no, just not not even that. I think he was the best keeper at the World Cup. I don't know how Kurt I, Kurt got the Golden Glove, but I think Pickford so many times saved England, and I thought he was. He, I thought he had a really good tournament. Yeah, no, I have to agree. Um, I think especially because he. It, it was too easy to mock him last season, particularly for Everton. I think mm-hmm. his highlights, you know, as a Liverpool fan as well, you know, the small hands argument. And you only had to see, I think it was one of the, the goals that he get, uh, he let in earlier on in the tournament where it looked like, it, you know, he maybe could have done a bit better when you only had to search Twitter and all you could see was Pickford's small hands and everyone's repeating the same joke. So <laughs> over and over and over again. So I, I think for me, really, that I have to admire him. And it's probably a characteristic of the whole English setup was the way they were almost mocked upon coming into the tournament and they stood up and they answered a lot of questions and I thought he had a very good tournament. I thought he was good on the ball. I thought he made some decent saves. Like that one, he was incredibly lucky, that save that he made just before the Croatia... No, mm-hmm. Columbia equaliser, I beg your pardon. Yeah, where it's where it went out for a corner. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's destined for the top corner. It's one of those shots that takes you out of nowhere. You're like, oh, wow, that's going top corner. Mm-hmm. Next thing he's flying across and saves it. So yeah, no, there's been a couple of other... Good performance by keepers, but yeah, no, I have to jump on the, the Pickford bandwagon as well. Keeper wise, we even got to ask him now. He's he's been outvoted. Or just because I like you, I'll say Pickford. Okay, but no, I do, I do. Who would you? Who would you? No, I think I think he's well, probably he wants Jack Pullen. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I do, I do, I think I, I, you know, I do like Jack. Um, seeing him grow as keeper, but I think it's been a real um, growing up uh, tournament for Jordan Pickford. I don't think he's the keeper. That he was at the start of the tournament. I think he's gone to another level now. Um, he's upped his game, and you know you have to give credit to the manager Gareth Southgate for backing him because it was a difficult decision. I think really between him and Butland. I don't think there yeah, was well, much. two months ago. They didn't yeah. know who was the number one. Exactly, uh, and now he is. Um, and it'll be interesting to see you know with these performances how he performs next season with Everton because that could be another season for when then other clubs start looking at him. Um, yeah, who, know, who check, knows? But... He might even get a cl- uh, move to a big club soon. Who yeah. knows? <laughs> I couldn't pick him in the he team and not, and, 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 and not get a dig in. I'm not buying <laughs> No, no, he had, a, he had a very good tournament, I think. Right, uh, we don't, so what are we doing? 4 4 2? I think we can safely yeah. go with four at the back. And I, was, we agree, I know England flirted with yeah. the three at the back slash five, but I think we'll go. But with... I, if, I, if we're going four, I wouldn't want to class Trippier as a right back in that sense because yeah. for me, he'd be my pick in that, in, on that side. I think he had a fabulous tournament. And who else would we put in there, though? As in, what would the other options be? When we're talking about right backs. Well, that was it's up to you to give me that. <laughs> Trippier has been. It's mine. just Trippier. <laughs> um, I just think he's been sensational. He has. Uh, where else? Where well, you're else? looking at uh, Verasco at uh, Croatia as well. Yeah, yeah, no, he he was good. I did enjoy watching him, and I thought again another player who would be useful maybe in the Premier League. Yeah. Um, it'd be interesting to see. Uh, you know how he comes on the French right back. Uh, Pavel. Yeah. Uh, again, light watch. Pavard, sorry, Pavard. Yeah, I thought he got forward quite well and was another player who maybe I wouldn't have known too much about and just yeah, was quietly surprised. Same with by Hernandez, with him. Yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, players who kind of come in under the radar a little bit, but uh, impressed with him. But I think uh, Trippier to me really puts in a shift. I like that in a player as well. Really gets up and down, and then obviously his set pieces as well was another addition to the team. Maybe that other teams may have not really noticed. You know. Yeah, and he did score a nice free kick then the semi final. It wasn't bad, was it? No, it wasn't bad at all. Um, it's like the, it's only a handful of players that have scored, or English players have scored in a, in a World Cup semi final as well. Another mm. stat for you folks. Um, yeah, no. Which is again, it was one of those things where you're talking about Pickford grew. I thought Trippier. Agreed. He did. He very as much games grew. went on because you know there was a like there was wasn't an uncall for argument. I know as a Liverpool fan, I probably pushed him a little, but Trent had been mentioned in a lot of circles as maybe starting. You know, I know yeah. he started bit, one of, bit young for bit, him probably a bit young and a bit too a bit too far advanced. But sure, yeah. Trippier grabbed that position, and I thought he had a very good uh, campaign. You know, he's 
I am I like him as a player because he's just that energy, you know, he seems to give it at all. He has a bit of skill to him as well and you know you know, he's one of those players that you know you can you can admire and you can appreciate the way he runs. So he gets my vote as well. So we've agreed without too much argument. Yeah, we'll go trip, yeah. Um so this is where the fun starts, I think, really. The centre halves. Mm-hmm. It's been a good tournament for centre halves. Yeah. Um a couple of standout players. Uh, hit me, some, folks. Some some people claim that they're the best defenders in the world. Yeah, yeah, they have they have done, and as his manager rightly said, then afterwards it's it's usually better when other people, um, say that. But um, no, I thought he had a very good tournament. Considering how how much he was, we're speaking about Lovren, of course. <laughs> I was gonna say who? <laughs> <laughs> you know, he held the joke pretty well there, didn't he? Um, no, I'll I'll speak on Lovren first. So look, a player that was mocked by his own supporters quite a lot, ridiculed after this, particularly the. The game against Spurs at Wembley, where he's taken off after half an hour after getting absolutely roasted by Kane, um, answered a lot of critics. Came back at a very good end of the season, a very good Champions League final. I thought had a very good tournament as well. Um, marked a lot of good players out of the game. Um, Kane, Ronaldo, Messi, and the likes. And I would, I will, I'm going to push him forward as well for one of the one of one of the central spots. So uh, how do you feel? Bring it, bring it to the table, folks. Who else? You know, I thought, you know, I thought his, 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 his partner, Vida, was, was yeah. very good. I, I, I think they complemented each other well, but they wouldn't be my two. I think my two centre backs wise would be Rafael Varane. Yeah, France. I think I think I think the three of us had him. Uh, yeah, Varane as well. Yeah. Yeah. Rolls Royce centre half, just 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 quality, Plus. and and then to to match him with somebody who would give you the opposite side, who I just again I think is growing in stature, and I. I would love to see him go um, to a bigger club, Harry Maguire for me. I just thought he had a, a fantastic tournament. And he's, to me, everything I would want in a centre-back. He's that old-school centre-back who leads by example. And again, as another player, you know, who's quite humble and has grown and showed his, his why he was chosen in that England team. And, and again, has grown into another level of a player. I think, well, I think if you're going with that, I think Stones deserves a mention as well. I thought he made a lot of very good blocks and deceptions. That I never really would have seen him make. True, but I think you know you look at Stones and you look at Maguire. Maguire is at Leicester. Stones is at Man City. I don't think Stones. I has know, but Stones was quite was into the player. Ridiculed. I don't think Stones has grown quite into the player that we thought he was going to be yet. He still has time, and I think he's a very good defender. Don't get me wrong. I think he can be better. I think Maguire has come up, you know, even in the past eighteen months, several levels. Um, and I just I, I love the way he plays the game. I I think there's I think there's better defenders to him that will get in. He's an honourable mention for me, but he wouldn't be in my top picks. So I think it, I think it's gonna have to be Vida or or Lovren, uh, or even Umtiti. I I think I picked Umtiti originally, didn't I? I think it did. Yeah. With an honourable mention of of Lovren and Vida, but I'm gonna go with the two French centre halves, uh, Umtiti and. Um, yeah, well, mainly because for uh, Umtiti scored the goal to uh, beat Belgium as well, so. Yeah, no, but like the French were pretty tight at the back. They were, I think, they were helped by their system, but the the two centre halves were, were pretty solid. So, are we coming to any sort of a <laughs> agreement? I think Varane is is Varane's, Varane's nailed on. He's he's nailed on. He's one and then spot. We got three di- oh no, we got you. You went for Lovren, didn't you? He did. Yeah. And you went for Vida. Um, Titi. Um, Titi. Okay. I'm still sticking with Maguire. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, well, we let you guys vote that one. <laughs> Five of the exactly. Back. There we go. You can do a Twitter poll on that now. <laughs> right. So well, that one. Instagram yeah. Uh, left left back. I went for Hernandez, um, another French player the, out of that back four. I think you 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 could nearly have picked the whole back uh, French mm-hmm. back four. They were they were all quite effective, and you know you know they they complemented each other quite well. And thought Hernandez, you know, difficult to pick out a lot of left backs that did quite well, but Hernandez stood out for me. I thought Strinic of Croatia was very good. Mm-hmm. And, good player. You know, again, you're looking at. The amount of time that Croatia played, um, and they did very well to avoid injuries, considering that as well. Uh, they all recovered quite well, but I thought he was very good going forward, getting back. Thought he was solid. Uh, for me, I'd pick him. My top pick. Um, I think probably Hernandez for me in the in the French side again, a player who's who's come on and has been noticed an awful lot more. Um, and just tidy, a clever, creative, uh, and offered something as well to the French side on the flank. Yeah, so I'm going to vote on that one. We are, so that's Hernandez. Um, this is where it got really, really interesting because this is where I was, even when I was scribbling down on the way home, I was there, you know, a couple of different ideas and stuff. Um, I'll start it off because I think this is one we'll all agree on. Modric has to be in that middle of the pitch. Yeah. 
Anyone disagree? <laughs> oh, I like this little pause over here. And you spoke about him. I mean, one yeah, of the, yeah, no, he, he, he's. I think if you asked me to ever pick a team, he'd be in it. So I have to say Kante, but I'd love to see Kante play with Modric. But I, I have a midfield three of Pogba, Kante, and Modric. That'd be my midfield three from the tournament. Well, I don't know, Jordan. No, sorry, um. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering would anybody mention him. <laughs> uh, no, uh, yeah, I think probably those three um, for what they would offer you would just be would be quite incredible. Um, is there any that could come in? Maybe De Bruyne, if you were talking about that in there. I didn't, I didn't think he had a great Pogba. tournament. He was, yeah, I, I think at times, again, no, I think Pogba probably would edge it on this because, again, you you have to look at the winning team. And, and, and he scored yeah. in front as well. Exactly. Yeah, I have to say, as much as it pained me after he uh, you know, did the dirt on us and all that, but I thought Coutinho had a very good tournament. Um, yeah, I did. He, um, was, he was instrumental. I thought he was probably... Paulinho as well. Paulinho had a, good tour- he tournament. Had a good tournament. He had a good tournament as well. But I just thought at times... Coutinho show. I know Neymar got the got a lot of the the, the, the highlights and a lot of the discussion he points. He really annoyed me. But he did, Jack. There's no way I could pick him in in my team after watching some of the crap that he put up. But, but you know, I thought Coutinho de- definitely was at times their most effective, and you know, he shows you that killer pass, always that bit of class as well. So he's probably a, a definitely a discussion point. But so if, Modric, if, if you're going Pogba, Kante. as a midfield three, we're happy with that. Modric, Pogba, Kante. I oh, am. Yeah. yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. I, do I have a choice in this? Um, Peretic, I thought. Of course you have. Me. Yeah, so Peretic's uh, not in midfield. He's I would, a, I would, play, I'd, I'd like him on the left. I think he could be very effective on the in left. In what a four-four-two. In a four-four-three-three, I think he could be quite effective. Or my team here, it could, can go to a diamond as well, so he can be flicked out to the left. Well, for me, he he he'd be a left wing. And I I had a fun if it was four four three it'd be the, the left of the front three I would say Perhaps, yeah but yeah well the, I could drop Hazard back the way I had the team is I had a four three three but I had Mandzukic and Perisic and then I had Harry Kane but because Harry Mandzukic Kane. Mandzukic can play on the um, on the wing as he's shown with Juventus and he's mm-hmm. effective but the two of them both playing on the left is the problem okay I'll so many choices I'll start it off again I'm going Perisic left winger. Okay, I'll ha- he's definitely in my team as well. So you're going three, so four, three, three. Yeah. Perisic up on, on the, the left, left wing of the, of the left as a striker. Right, okay. I've got I'm Kane and then Mandzukic for me. Right. I initially went with Mbappe, Lukaku, and Hazard. Okay. And Perisic can maybe flick back uh, an interchange Lukaku with Hazard. Over Kane. Yeah, no, look, okay, I'll be, I'll be, I'll come straight out here with it. This is probably going to go down like a lead balloon. Harry Kane did not have a good tournament. I think Harry Kane started well and then got really tired. He was very I think ineffective. He was incredibly fatigued. He but I, just uh, but I don't see how you can. I don't see how you can put the um, the golden boot winner because in because he wasn't very good. Yes, he was very good at penalties, which is a skill in itself. And you mm-hmm. know he mm-hmm. definitely stood up and there was immense leadership um, shown to take a lot of you know yeah, pr- yeah, pressurized yeah, yeah, kicks yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. But no, for me. For overall play, you know, I know he got golden boot and, you know, I'm not dismissing that. That's still a fantastic achievement. And, you know, I think I said beforehand that I felt he was the best number nine um, coming come into the World Cup. But I thought he was incredibly poor. And I thought he when England really needed him, he yeah, was just jaded. The last, the last two games and then he just started just... sitting back in as a 10 and didn't have the legs really to do anything. And I thought he completely and utterly disappeared. And, you know, like his goals, what is it, penalties, a couple of headers and um, a header from a couple of yards out. And, is, and, in his first game, two headers were, were vital. They were, of course, of course they were. Um, but the other, like the other goal then is what it was. Because that's at the time for England's term. Yeah, but yeah. I, th- I think that was the thing. I think at the start, yeah. But I think it's just another month of football. And Harry's had a long season. I think it just took its toll in the end. And I, I think, as you said, he did go missing and he was just tired. He just had enough energy. There was one point I saw a ball was put into the box against Croatia, you know, they're getting towards the final stage of the match. Kane should be in there poaching, getting his head, getting a foot onto that. And he was on the edge of the box. And you could see he was you could see in his mind when the camera went to him was like, oh, I should have been in there. I should have been in there. And I think that is just tiredness. Right, again. well if, if if you guys are to pick a front three like Perisic, I think is nailed on okay. now because we, we yeah, yeah, no. I think you wanted Hazard in there. Though. Definitely was well, silver ball and I think overall in the tournament just of how he played what I love seeing Hazard do and players do is driving at teams when they just get the ball, pick it up, and his pace of how he moves with that ball stuck to his foot, I think was incredible. I think he was the best player in the Belgian side. I think uh, he captained the side, he led them well. I think Paris is a very good player as well, but 
I think if you ask anybody, even you know, uh, taking the turn into account, Hazard or Parasite, they would go Hazard every single oh, time. Oh yeah, I, as a, as a player, I would yeah, but I mean in terms. But of I, terms again, of I still think you know, silver ball says it. Okay, they didn't get to the final. I think they were very unlucky. They came up against a dogged French side. Lukaku, for me, because of the goals he scored again, he started to show another side to himself. There was a couple of times he got one-on-ones and I thought he'll miss this, and he didn't. And I thought, again, growing experience for him as the whole Belgian side seemed to form a team. And then Mbappe, as we said, probably the next big superstar. Okay, so that's our front three then. I think it's Lukaku, Perisic and Mbappe. She's about gone for Lukaku. Yeah, I still like to get Hazard in that team. Um, that's why I've gone with the extreme. He'll be disappointed in you. He'll be disappointed in you. <laughs> uh, but no, well, it's it's it's, especially it's, it's when... opinion based. So go for it. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Um, um, if there was a way of getting Perisic and Hazard in the team, which I've kind of done there, it's a bit of it probably wouldn't work in real life. You could maybe switch it back to a diamond, but. I've managed to squeeze the two of them in, into the team. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to manage it here, but... Well, yeah. let's down to well, the viewers yeah. as well. You guys, let us know your thoughts in the comments. And, you know, if, if you had a different team to us, let us know. Um, and don't forget to like, subscribe. And uh, as always, uh, I hope you enjoyed the tournament. Huge thanks to Will for coming on the show. Absolutely. Uh, welcome you. back anytime.